A rare discovery has been found in the southern part of Korea, and our Im Yoon is here to give us a look at just what has got researchers mesmerized. Good afternoon, Yoon Good afternoon. You're absolutely right. So over the past couple of weeks, we had a look at some uh, pretty rare discoveries as well. But today, I have yet another one that they found here in the country. Take a look. A 1,500-year-old tomb has been unearthed in Korea's southern city of Naju, South Cheolanamdo Province. The excavation site, located in a region formerly known as Mahan, has so far produced a treasure trove of goods, including rare gold jewelry and jade, pottery and tools. The one item in particular has blown researchers away. It's a pair of gilt bronze shoes dating back to the Pekche Kingdom, and they were recovered in almost perfect condition. The intricate design and condition of the relic makes this discovery one of the first of its kind, shedding light on the history of Korea. The dragon's teeth, ears and horns are extremely detailed. They were able to reinterpret the design and add a touch of the Baekje kingdom, which is not done easily. The shoes, 32 centimeters in length, 9.5 centimeters in width and 9 centimeters in height, displays excellent craftsmanship and artistic qualities, characteristics of Baekje era artisans. The dragon image is paired with the image of a lotus blossom in delicate gilt bronze work showcasing a close relationship between the ancient kingdoms. I believe the cultural elements of the four nations of Gaia, ancient Japan, Baekje and the Silla dynasty come together here. Over a century later, the tomb is now a huge source of insight about the past, encapsulating a precious piece of history. I can't imagine they actually wore those shoes. What's the purpose of them? Right, so I imagine it's kind of hard to walk in these shoes. They I are know. more for as a gift. So actually, they said that they believe that these shoes were given uh, by the Pekche Kingdom to a local lord. And they were given um, to create good relations at a time when the Pekche Kingdom really wanted to expand their territory. Mm. And so through giving of these kind of objects, they are trying to, I guess, make friends with the neighboring countries. Mm. But I, we saw from the video that there were many more discoveries from the excavation. Tell us more about that. Exactly. So last year they actually made a discovery of a tomb and found some pottery and jewelry pieces, but with this current excavation, they found gilt bronze shoes like you saw in the report, some gold earring plates, an ornament, so a very big vast collection of very rare relics as well. Mm -hmm. And so this is the fifth time they found this type of gilt bronze shoes. And but this time in particular is very precious because it's so intact, it is almost uh, perfect in wow. preservation. So they can really learn a lot from that. But so far, this excavation site is at the Yongsan by the Yongsan River and they mm -hmm. found over 1,000 artifacts there. So they're hoping to learn a lot about Korea's past through there. Oh, all right. Thank you for that report, Yuni. You're very welcome.